Well, emergency pop-up show. The Gators just got embarrassed by Texas A&M. It was 33-7. to We came a little bit closer as the game went along. Um, got to be 33-20 at the end, but... Florida, another home loss to the, this time to the Texas A&M Aggies. That is four consecutive home losses for Billy Napier to FBS opponents, which is twice as many as Urban Meyer suffered in five years at the University of Florida. Billy has lost twice as many games at home to FBS opponents in the last four games that he has coached than Urban Meyer lost in half of a decade. So the post-game analysis is that we didn't get anything new that we didn't already know. We didn't learn anything new. This is just a losing program under Billy Napier. This is this is done. This is over. Um, the, these thoughts are coming to you raw, recording at my cousin's place without um, – I mean, they live in a great house. I'm not, uh, you know, knocking them for this, but the lighting isn't great. I'm just – I'm giving it to you guys as as unfiltered and as um, as raw as it gets. This is just a terrible program right now. There will be better days for sure in all kinds of weather. We all stay together, but this program is currently an embarrassment. Billy Napier has reduced this program to a level that I thought I'd never see. To to think about the program with four losing seasons in a row, three of which came under Billy Napier. I mean. I, I'm begging for Ron Zook back at this point. Ron Zook got you eight wins a year, seven, eight wins a year. Billy Napier never won seven games in a year once. Billy Napier made one bowl game. Billy Napier has never had a winning season. Ron Zook, at least you knew, was going to get you to a bowl game, was going to get you seven, eight wins a year. I mean, Will Muschamp at least had an 11 and two win, uh, season in there. Like I said, there there are no words. There are no explanations. Not even going to bother with analysis. We've been there. We've done that. If it's not the defense giving up a fourth and 17 or school record, 702 yards of offense, it's them lining up with 12 or 13 players or with two guys wearing the same jersey number or the offensive line getting manhandled or playing the wrong people like we saw again today with Lagway and Mertz. How about another, another record? A&M winning their first road game since 2021. Um, 488 yards with a first time freshman quarterback. It's, it's done. I, it's, it's over Billy. Um, I, I think you took the job with all the right intentions. I think you wanted to be the next great coach at the Florida Gators. It just didn't work. And it's, that's all there is to it. You don't have to say anything in your own defense. You don't have to try to justify or rationalize it. You can just pick up your stuff and go. I wish you the best unless you go to a rival school, but there, there's nothing else to say. There, there are no words. There are no explanations. There are no excuses. There's no, what if he does this or that? No, 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 no. It's it's done. It's over. And Scott Strickland should be going with him. But that's it for now. This this show is really just being done to buy myself some more time to get back home. Um, got another four hours in the car tomorrow to think about how in the hell I'm going to eulogize Billy Napier's tenure in Florida because I think at this point we all know um, I mean, maybe, maybe not tonight, maybe not tomorrow night, but we know sooner or later, this is going to come to an end. So we'll have a lot more coming. We'll have a lot more content coming. We'll have better lighting. We'll have a more professional setup, but this is just as raw and as, as real as it's going to get. So no script today. This is just me coming to you right after a, another terrible loss that I think should put the final nail in Billy Napier's coffin. So until next time, until our next real show in all kinds of weather, we'll all stay together for F-L-O-R-I-D-A. Definitely be sure to subscribe and like this video on YouTube. Give us a five-star rating and a nice review on Apple Podcasts. Um, and we'll see you again soon with a more, a more fleshed-out conversation with Chris um, and myself coming soon.